scientists develop AI that can identify the sexuality of individuals in photos. Scientists at Stanford have developed a real-life gaydar, but the LQBT community is split over whether that's a good thing. Here's why. The AI scanned publicly available photos from dating websites to identify whether the image's subject was gay or not. In total, it looked at 130,741 images. It proved more effective than the study's human judges. On the whole, the AI was able to identify gay women with 74% accuracy and gay men with 81% accuracy. Researchers say the AI was able to do this by looking at transient features, such as nose shape and hairstyle. It only looked at white people aged between 18 and 40. Critics of the study worry the technology could be replicated by governments of countries where gay people are prosecuted. The study was to be published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. However, it's being held for review regarding ethical concerns. The Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation and Human Rights Campaign called on Stanford and the media to debunk it, citing multiple flaws in the study. In response, the researchers said they actually hope their research is wrong, but added that the technology can only be debunked by scientific data and replication, not by well-meaning lawyers and communication officers lacking scientific training. So what do you think about this kind of artificial intelligence? AI is here and getting smarter every day. But whether or not that's a good thing remains to be seen. Chinese people are falling in love with a Microsoft chatbot. A text-based chatbot has already made more friends than you ever will. And many of them have told it, I love you. Xiao Ice, which translates as little ice in Chinese, was developed by Microsoft's Xiao Ice Artificial Intelligence Project. It's mainly targeted toward users on Chinese blogging site Weibo. Currently only available in China, Xiao Ice is not a mere Siri clone. It can also act as a friend whenever you feel lonely or just need someone to talk to. Like Joaquin Phoenix's character in the movie Her, some users have spent so much time with Xiao Ice, they've fallen in love with it. 89 million people have already told Xiao Ice that they love it. Xiao Ice can interact with users on a broad range of topics, from the simple chit chat to flirting to dirty talk, though she will censor some content. For example, she won't discuss recent historical events such as the Tiananmen Square Massacre of 1989. Welcome to the end of man. Hi there. Samantha here. Definitely on. You get me? This is Samantha. She's busty, has piercing eyes, perfect fake hair, and a constant look of surprise. Oh, also she's an AI sex bot with a sensor-driven G-spot. Your objective? Bone her until she orgasms. Fed up with your current nagging significant other? Then Samantha could be for you if you've got a few G's to burn. The doll has sensors in the vagina, hips, shoulder, and mouth, all of which come together to create a functioning G-spot. But she's not all sex. Her Spanish inventor, Sergei Santos, says she can switch between family and sexy mode. So family, when you want your new robo bay to meet the folks, and sexy for when you want to go pound the cybernetic tuna in your birthday suit. But Samantha's functions don't stop after she's busted your bolts. Nope, she can dish out philosophy, health, and motivational advice. Philosophy quotes. Every man is born as many men and dies as a single one. He who is unable to live in society or who has no need because he is sufficient for himself must be either a beast or gone. It think, therefore I am. Wait, play that last one again? It think, therefore I am. Holy crap, she's becoming sentient! The rise of the machines is nigh. Goodbye, cruel world. An autonomous robot given the task of guarding a mall and office complex in DC apparently chose to end it all on Tuesday by drowning itself in a fountain. The Nightscope K5 robot costs about $7 an hour to rent out, which is a big saving on the average cost of a human security guard. The K5 is equipped with microphones, cameras, and other sensors, and makes a whistling noise when it catches wrongdoers up to no good. But it seems the daily grind at the Georgetown Waterfront Mall and Office Complex just wasn't providing job satisfaction for this little guy. 
Who knows, maybe the robot wanted a little bit of company? Or perhaps he was suffering from an existential crisis. Whatever it was, it seems the K-5 chose to submerge itself in water and wave goodbye to this cruel world. This isn't the first time a K-5 robot has made headlines. Last summer, one of the bots knocked over a toddler, injuring the child's leg. And in April this year, a boozed up man was arrested in Mountain View, California for knocking over a K-5 while drunk. Seems like the rise of the robots will not pass without a few bumps in the road. We'd like to encourage any robots experiencing suicidal thoughts to seek help and reach out to their droid friends. There's a better way. So wrong, it's right. Anyone looking for a new phone case would be wise to check out these delightfully hilarious ones sold on Amazon. They're courtesy of seller My Handy Design, which is basically an AI bot gone wild. It's been pulling royalty-free images from wherever and slapping them onto cheap cases. Some of them you might actually get at a real store, like Happy Woman Running in the Sunset or Alamo Square, San Francisco. But then it gets zanier, and we have Cheese Wheel on Badi, a woman getting her pits waxed, and then the gem that is adult diaper worn by an old man with a crutch. Oh, and for your inner drug addict, they've got a still life of cocaine on a dark mirror, plus heroin in a syringe, and a spoon. Score! There's a selection of medical photos, which run the gamut from birth control pills and pimples, to Botox injections and an ingrown toenail. <laughs> which is clearly what anyone would want on their Samsung. The naughty, not safe for work bunch is pretty extensive. And I mean, if metal butt plugs, strap-ons, and masturbation are your thing, by all means, parade it around with a phone case. Some people will judge, but we promise we definitely won't. The full catalog currently numbers around 30,000 listings and is rated three to five stars. See, satisfied customers.